we'll just kind of go through the first couple, well, three days of camp. Last Friday, Saturday, and today, how have those gone for you guys, and how's the offense looking at this point? Uh, you know, really excited about some of the talents that we're seeing on the offense. Uh, some guys making plays. Uh, we had a big install as far as our scheme today, so there's going to be a lot of corrections to make off of that third practice. Pretty much what we expect, though, going into a practice like that. I think um, you're seeing a lot of guys uh, that, that maybe were younger guys last year who are a little more comfortable and confident, step up and become leaders. And, and really, I'm excited about where we're at. I thought we had a good energy practice coming in here to practice up! number three, Open but it's something we'll challenge our guys going through the rest of camp. You know, it's, it's pretty easy to have energy day one, day two, early on, but you know, week two, week three, do we have that same energy? That's what we'll have to pay attention to. What have you seen out of the quarterback so far? Uh, you've got four guys in camp here. What have you seen from that group? Uh, you know, going through the quarterbacks, I think, you know, looking at them in, as a group, really proud of the way they work together. You know, uh, it's a competition, and it always is, but you can see them supporting each other, uh, correcting each other, taking some of those corrections the right way. Individually, I'd say, you know, Aaron, he was the guy that's the most comfortable in the offense right now. Uh, he's came in and did what I expected him to do. I expected him to be able to lead um, and, and to be a little bit maybe step ahead as far as knowing what's going on uh, offensively. Uh, I think those other guys, they're comfortable, but, but they're still a little bit behind just the understanding and processing the information really fast. Uh, Chris, coming off a great summer. Chris Helbig really put in a lot of work, did a good job. I think that Chris uh, is going to need to be a little more composed, but he's shown some great ability, some real good arm strength. He's mobile in the pocket. I've seen him make some plays on, on plays that maybe broke down, and that's it's a lot of times stuff you can't coach. It's things that guys instinctively know how to play football after that. Uh, Skidmore, Skid had a, a good summer as well. Um, I think coming out of the spring, didn't quite feel like he had as much of an understanding uh, of the offense as maybe Helbig did. But early on in camp, yeah, I, he's had a great camp so far. In three practices, he's done really well. He's made some plays. He's uh, you know, shown that he's comfortable in the pocket, has really good composure, and, and has a good pocket presence. And then Austin Ewing was, is the new guy. Uh, you know, just joined us this summer. Uh, Walk-on freshman from Hawaii. and is ex came in and knows the offense pretty well for being brand new. On top of that, he's shown that he can make some plays with his legs. He's very mobile. Uh, he's, he's shown that when things break down, he can be a special player and make something happen out of it. Uh, at the same token, got to teach him that it's not a, always good to run. You know, sometimes that he can stay in the pocket, keep the play alive, not cross the line of scrimmage. And that's just a habit that I think he'll develop as we coach it more and more. As far as preseason accolades go, Zach Larson and the old line kind of, you know, bolstered by that a little bit. What have you seen out of that group through these first couple days? You know, Zach, Zach's a guy that very deserving of those accolades, no question. Um, and I think what I love about Zach is he knows that those are preseason accolades. And really, at the end of the day, not that important, not, not near as important as what he does during the season. Uh, I think Zach's definitely one of our leaders. He's, he's a guy that our players look up to, and he knows that now. So leadership, is, is he's got to be a little more vocal, and he's shown to do that here these first three days. Uh, it's going to be when times get tough, that's when the leadership is it, a little more challenging. And so be interesting to see here at some point in camp, we're going to have a bad practice, we're going to have a bad drive, and want to see if he can get us where we need to be as a leader. But I think Zach approaches practice day in and day out ready. That's why he is one of our leaders why he is getting these accolades but but I think at the same token he really understands what they are is and that's preseason ranking same thing with the Landon Meesum uh, you know in our offense we use the philosophy of we're going to play the best player today not the guy who had a great season last year not the guy we think has the potential to be great in the future whoever's showing that they're the best today and so we we're competing at all positions all the time nobody owns a position Whoever's the best guy and showing that and the coaches are most confident in, that's the guy who's going to be first on game day. From the outside perspective, it seems like you guys just have a crazy amount of depth at wide receiver. Uh, how has that been managing that so far, and how will that work through the rest of camp? Yeah, we've got some exciting players at receiver. I think if you look at our offense, 
based off of last season and the spring, the outside receivers, probably where we had the biggest question mark, uh, really challenged those guys to, to step up and see who wants to own that position. They're right now, there's guys who do certain things better than others. There's not a guy that's proven he does everything the best yet, and that's the challenge to some of those guys who are at the top. We've got some incoming guys who, uh, right now, still just need to learn what they're doing and, and need to learn technique. And you know, some of those things are new to them. They show that they can make plays, that they can run and catch and do those things. But it, it's a new level of football for them that they've got to really process information fast and be able to make some of those conversions. On the inside slot wide receivers, you know, Landon Meesum, like I said, is a guy coming back. Judd Cockett had a great summer. He's another weapon that we have. I feel like we do have some exciting players at those positions, and we want to put our best guys uh, in the best position to succeed. But for their perspective, they should look at it that they want to own every route. They want to be the best at everything and be every down wide receiver for us. Perfect. Thanks, Dave. All right.